Now today, more than a thousand runners lace up their shoes for the annual Macon Labor Day Road Race. Everyone has a reason for running, including one Central Georgia family who's been running for decades. Wanya Reese has their story. People of all ages ran in the 42nd annual Labor Day race, including sisters Adeline and Ava Fuller. Who's going to win the race between Me. you two? Me. Me. Well, I'm probably going to follow her and then go past her. But for the Fullers, this race is not just about winning, it's a family affair. A togetherness, uh, the family unity, and you know, just to have uh, the connection there with the family. Robbie Fuller started running in the late 70s so he could pass his physical to become a firefighter. He then passed his new skill to his two sons. My first son was born, he started running with me. And a couple of years later, my youngest son has started running with us. So now it's become a family tradition that one lives in Nashville and one lives in Tampa. Fuller says since the 90s, he and his sons have been running in the race. Now the whole family laces up for the big event. The grandkids start growing. Grandmama and granddaddy can get to see the grandkids. Well done, Adeline. This year, the Fullers have something new to celebrate. 11-year-old Adeline won third place in the junior division, but she says the race isn't only about winning. Um, just, I don't know, just getting, you know, your exercises. Getting, getting out to exercises and healthy. And as the Fuller family hangs up their shoes. And so now I'm looking for the, my next youngest one to come up, and so I got a new one here. I'm looking for her to come in first place, too. So. They say running together is a tradition that will continue forever. In Macon, Wanye Reese, 13 WMAZ News. What a great tradition. Now, if you're wondering who won, Alan Black led the 5K, finishing in 15 minutes, 31 seconds. And Ann Center finished for females at 17 minutes, 55 seconds. In the 10K for guys, Peyton Hoyle, Finished in 34 minutes, Hannah Moore led the females, finishing in 45 minutes. And event organizers say they're already getting ready for next year's road race.